Breaking news. We begin at six with breaking news. One man is charged with murder, but investigators are not saying who the victim is. The Rush County Sheriff's Office arrested Patrick Scott minutes after human remains were found on his property. I to meet senior investigative reporter Richard Essex is working that story tonight in Rush County. Patrick Scott was arrested without incident at his home in Arlington. He was arrested for murder and is being held here at the Rush County Jail. Scott's name has been brought up in connection to the missing 17-year-old Valerie Tyndale, who's been missing for six months. But police are not making a connection between the two, but her parents are. We just want answers right now. We just want answers as to why. Why would you do this? It's all Sheena Sandefur can take. Six emotionally exhausting months since her middle child, Valerie, was last seen. On Tuesday night, investigators dressed in special protective clothing discovered a barrel with human remains inside. The barrel is on Patrick Scott's property. Valerie's parents and Scott's had been friends. I think it was the first week, right after we hung flyers. I think it was day two we went out and hung flyers. And as soon as we come home, they were there. And they kept coming over, you know, asking me if I was okay and telling us, oh, I'm sure she's fine. She'll be back home. Investigators questioned Scott a couple of times. His story changed and he was charged with trying to deceive police. Valerie worked for Scott's lawn maintenance company. At one point, she told her mother that Scott installed a tracking device on her phone. Her parents knew something bad had happened to her when she didn't contact her sisters on their birthday. She hadn't reached out to her best friend or her sisters or anybody that just told me that something was definitely wrong. That's not, she didn't run away. I didn't believe that for one minute really in my heart, but I wanted to. Her parents lived just a few hundred yards from where human remains were found. Over the past several months, they and hundreds of others have driven right by the house. There's going to be a hole there forever. There was a hole there, and we thought she was out there somewhere. There was a hole, and it's never going to be filled. <laughs> it's like half your family's gone. <laughs> Positive identification of those remains that were found in that barrel will come from the Rush County coroner's office in Rushville, Rich Essex, Wish TV, I Team 8.